this is the part where I'd like to say there's no turning back. But in point of fact, that was earlier when I was putting all this stuff on. This is seam seal. This should keep the worst of the weather out of these welds. And um, I, I hate saying this, because I've said it too many times, these will outlast the car. Ooh, number of times I've said that about a fucking alternator. <sighs> anyway, <coughs> this will say, <coughs> just got a whiff of all that. <coughs> this, we will say, <laughs> is the point of no return, because there's no going back after this without considerably more headache on my part. And I've had enough headaches over this whole project. Most of them self-inflicted. So here we go. This is self-etching primer. No, this is not self-etching. This is weld-through primer. Because in my mind, this might give us a little more protection from salt. So, no breathing apparatus at all. Just full sand. And maybe this will give us more protection than regular self-etching primer, which I do have. I just don't have a lot of it. So I might do a light coat of that after I've done this. So now we play a game called, is this in frame? Probably not. This is our rust seal. That's what to call it, rust seal. It is paint over rust. And um, this is probably more than I'll need. Um, thing is, I, I don't see any real instructions on it. So we'll guess. I have purchased a tiny roller, tiny foam brushes, and believe it or not, the smallest roller tray available at Home Depot. This is absurd, but it is disposable, so I don't have to think about it too long. And we should probably stir this, but it being an 8 ounce jar... way more green than I thought it would be. That is just, oh, that is like safety green. Oh, it's almost nauseating compared to the nice teal that I got on the car. Oh well. It's green and it stops rust. So, it will have to do. And I'm really the only one who's going to see this anyway. Well, for the most part, I'll just have to make sure no one takes a too close a look. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't show more of the welding process, well, it is a stressful one. A stressful process, to be sure, especially since I have no formal training. I was also upside down on my back. And no matter how much you practice, as soon as you're in that inverted, turtled situation, everything you thought you knew just kind of goes out the window. So, I needed all my mental faculties to focus on the welding operation. And um, I'll tell you right now. It was stressful. Honestly, like, I I don't know what I'm doing. I got no one here to tell me I don't know what I'm doing. So all I'm left with is the comfortable notion that I don't know what I'm doing. Without, without actually knowing that I don't know what I'm doing. Am I making sense yet? Anyway. Proceed I did at my own risk of embarrassment and uh, 
Come inspection, I may find that none of this was adequate. And I wasted all this time, all these months. But that's for future me to figure out. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure this paint all goes on. And I find it sad because, you know, I'm not really painting. I'm just kind of rolling a covering on. Paint is an elegant process, an art, really, which I found out much to my own dismay when I saw the results of my own painting attempts, especially on cars. Cars are tough. It is all in the prep, and when you only give yourself three days to do the whole job, it ends up not, not looking great. But you do accomplish, and accomplish I did in the face of my own ignorance. And here I am again today, doing much the same thing to try and keep the same car alive. I don't expect anyone else to try this. As a matter of fact, you should not attempt this. I am a fool, not an expert. Learn from my mistakes and get an expert. But, I will rest comfortable in the notion that it is done. And I set out to try, and I did. Success? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Well, I will. You can just skip to the end of this video and already know. That's not fair. I don't get to do that. Now I'll switch to a little cheapo foam, foam brush, try and get some gaps as it drips on me, yep, of course. Squish it all in there, and hope that all of this was in frame and the, and the camera's still rolling. I don't actually know if it is. Well, it is with great hesitation I declare I think she'll send. And uh, you know what, now that there's a color on it, I don't feel too bad. Not as bad as I did before. So with all that in mind, now comes the relative easy part, putting it all back together. The hard part about that is remembering how it went. But I do have this little archive that I made. Almost as if I planned it that way. <sighs> planned is a strong word. I'm not going to use that word. Anyway, I'm going to give it overnight to set. That roller is dead. That was disposable anyway. I, I don't think I'll get another coat. And honestly, that stuff goes on kind of thick, so I might not need it. Worth a try. We are trying here. We have no guarantee of outcome. A new day dawns. And, and I dare say, that ain't pretty at all, but... Don't move. So over here. I could probably hang off of this and be fine. Probably. I don't know. Alright, at this point, I think I'm allowed. But this is our exhaust shield, and I managed to get it back on just by tapping new threads into the steel. No welding required, because this... Well, it wasn't welded, it was riveted. And I had to drill out the rivets. And the problem with rivets is they're one-time use. Hence these. Probably. 
a better way to do this, but here we are. What am I doing? I have a jack. I never checked to see if I have the bolts for this. Maybe. Jack it down. Time to find bolts. convenient. Okay. Like that. Okay, that was always open. This little vent thing, I think. Filter on. Filter secure. Turn line secure, flows that way, that's a brake line, deal with that later. We got, ah, this guy, okay. Got a tool for that. This is just a hose clamp. Flip it the other way, make it easier to get to next time. There. Wiring harness for a fuel tank done. Vapors connected. Electrical and fuel line wise. I think this just kind of sat in the frame like that. I don't. I'm pretty sure. Well, a, well, hey, basically where there was a hole, there ain't one now. So I'll have to just do some creative zip tying. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get filler next, next, I think. Let's open this guy. I had the right bit out. There we So now I need to make a hole where there wasn't one before. Well, and this doesn't have to be super structural, I just wanted to stop this filler neck from rattling around. So, with our center punch, I always like to hit it a couple times. Pretty good. And, um, 
you know what? I might have to just take this off again. Now, I've practiced this process of tapping new holes quite a lot on the bench, but if my experience welding tells me anything, everything will be forgotten as soon as I'm upside down. Here's where we get a little tricky because I'm looking for 7.30 seconds and I don't want to go any further than that. And none of that was in the frame. And it's pretty good odds actually that this steel will be too thin to hold threads. In which case, I'll zip tie. I certainly don't make a career out of this. So this is when the cheaply made tools work just fine. For me at least, I don't know about you. Right now, I've got a secured filler neck. We're going to be gentle on that, because it doesn't need to handle much. And it can't, because, you know, the steel's 16 gauge, it's not a lot of steel to hold threads on. They don't move. It just wiggles. I can handle wiggle. Wiggle I can do. Just don't move. All right. Zip tie that guy in. And then I think we might be ready for exhaust. Now we're at the point where I got to do something that should have been done to avoid this whole scenario. And that's apply some cavity wax, I think. That's the right move. So we got this, this can and a, a hose on the end. And on the end is a sprayer that sprays out in four directions. And theoretically, we'll get complete coverage. So I'll just sneak that in there until I won't go no more. It sounds like it's about there. You press and gently pull it out in the process. And uh, already the goo is coming out. I guess I did that. I guess I did it right. Let's go over here. not a pleasant smell. It does kind of get everywhere though. But theoretically, we've now protected. I, I wish it applied a little more predictably. Oh well. Let me get this last bit here. the other side <laughs> okay I have the axle mocked in and I did already uh, drill and tap holes for that brake hardware line brake line securing location thing uh, so the axles mocked in what I should have done before this is uh, exhaust but you know I 
Alright, we'll get into it now. Such an awkward shape. But here we go. gone the other way. Baby, are you okay? I'm good. Okay. Just figuring out exhaust. Okay. Uh, I should have done this earlier. Well, oh, what am I dragging on? That's funny. I was just preaching to a couple in cells about how if you don't have a girlfriend or a car, then now's a perfect time to get a project car in your life. You supposedly have male friends. because this is really going to tell whether I've done the job right or not. <laughs> it's, um, I'm confident, but cautiously so. Uh, could come up with something new. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a waiting game. But it feels good. I took it out for a drive yesterday. It feels good. Everything brakes well, everything drives well. It just feels good. I just swapped the uh, summer tires back on. And uh, for fear of knocking my camera over, I haven't done any spirits in driving yet. But they already, I mean, they just feel different than the winter tires. It's been an eight month process since first got that rejection inspection inspection rejection what's your function <clears throat> and uh, the learning experience to say the least birds hey, birds I'm not a welder that much has been abundantly clear and I think it, that will show in the final product when the guy actually looks down there. I'm glad I did it because I have that dopamine rush of accomplishing something. But now it's the waiting game. Now I wait and see what they say. Put on an audiobook while I drive. 
drive. Oh, it's hurt my head. That's a pass. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Oh my God. I, it's a good feeling knowing all that work wasn't for nothing. Oh man. So that's, I got my weekends back now. I mean, I can like do other stuff. I mean, I was doing other stuff, you know. It's, it's not like this occupied all my time. I can still have to go out and do things unrelated to the garage, but I just, I, it's a weird fit, kind of weird, not having a default for what I'm gonna do that weekend. What is nice though, is that at the end of every day, I'm not gonna have to dig black shit out of my nose. That's something that they don't tell you. When you're cutting steel or, or welding and then cutting your welds, your grinding, all that shit gets in the air and lands in your nose. No matter what respirator or bandana or whatever face covering I had. So I just dealt with it. I'm. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. <laughs> oh, man. What a nice Memorial Day.